Okay, now we can start the real thing. Alright, so hello, Superfire. Hi. Today we're here to discuss Chuck Cat. A lot of people want to know why I don't like him. And I don't ever want to I don't ever want to explain it to anyone ever again. So everything that has to be said about Chuck Cat, I will say it in this VC. Alright. Also known as Lowood and Sirst Die Gam Gamers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and for sure. Awkward? Yes. Awkward. Yeah. E girl Aquor. Let's just list his like mil one million IGNs. IZXO, uh, uh James Charles, uh, James Charles is missing. James Charles, not James. Okay, 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 listen, listen. Oh, all right. So I should probably just explain for, right from the start. Chuck Cat and I, we used to go way back. All right, or by way back, I just mean like a year and a half ago. But oh. so Chuck Cat and I, we haven't I known you for like a year? Uh, no. Actually, no. I think probably just like eight months. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, Chuck and I go way back. And like, I'd s okay, Varek, this is a weird time for me to say, but I think you might be my best friend. Oh, thanks. I mean, uh, you are too, yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah I was waiting for you to <laughs> That's say That's what we like to see. <laughs> <laughs> Not scripted, by the way. So anyway. I think, like, you and I, I'd say we're friends, we're best friends, we're really close, but my friendship with Chuck yeah. b back then, just imagine our current friendship, but, like, three times as strong, or three times as close, you know? Yeah, so, like, our friendship, if I actually knew what you look like. Yeah, so basically, our friendship, if, uh, it's just, we played way more than we do we talked more than we do we vc'd more than we do we did more things together um we listen to alec benjamin more than we do which is pretty crazy because i make you listen to him a lot of the time Wait, alec, uh, chuck used to like alec benjamin no uh, chuck said he okay yeah okay this is kind of straying from the topic but chuck has the most basic music taste ever it, it just it infuriates me <laughs> anyway anyway uh I used to listen to Minecraft parodies almost exclusively. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, this story really begins when Chuck first quit Minecraft. Or, yeah. So Chuck's PC, or his laptop, just ended up dying, right? Um, yeah. And he didn't play for another, like, eight months. But in that eight months, like, I just stopped talking to him, like, in general. Because, you know, we'd have almost no reason to really talk, you know. If it, if we wanted to talk, it would usually just be, you want to hop on Minecraft, or do you want to do this together? But since, you know, he's on phone, and uh, he just got into a school at that time, I, I really feel like I'm doxing him here. So yeah, he, he just wasn't available at the times that I was, and even if we were available at the same times, we, wouldn't, we couldn't do the same things together. Or we couldn't do the same things, you know. And so, you know. Yeah, what else do you want to say about his life in the Eastern Philippines? Oh, <laughs> for real. So, anyway. Um, so, check out. He actually lives in bleep, 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 bleep. His name is bleep, bleep. Uh, his credit card info is bleep. Social security, car social security is, uh, yeah, anyway. But, you know, friendships. The cool social security. And whatnot, right? Like, that happens, right? Some people yeah. stop talking. Yeah. Um, but the thing about are, Chuck, are you hinting at like me and some support? Or... No, no. <laughs> you okay. don't have to bring your other issues into this. This isn't therapy. Anyway, well, it <laughs> kind of is for me. Calling you up, like, yeah. yeah, I'm your th you're my therapist. I it's not it's not like a yeah. duo thing. You don't understand. I didn't get paid. I'm a slave. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So anyway, <laughs> because like we stopped talking that doesn't mean like we didn't regularly see each other like of course there was my discord server at the time which he would speak in yeah. occasionally but uh he lived with you in australia as well yeah our, our dms were like very dry you know it'd just be like hi chuck i miss you hi ghost or i miss you too Th that that would be it that, that would be the end. Oh, lovely like, yeah I, I just wouldn't know how to continue it anymore because i didn't like talk to him anymore but um i think the thing about chuck is that he is your average Minecraft PvP, -er, just minus the racism. I'd say if there's one thing about Chuck that makes him stand out from uh, all the other generic Minecraft PvPers who are toxic and whatnot, is that he is not racist. That's the only thing. Um, oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. That's, hey, good job. He's uh, he's at the low end of the bargain here. Um, yeah, the bar is a little bit low. At uh, at least he's not racist. For real. Okay. Just, um. 
So anyway, uh, after that, I, I will also be cutting out like a lot of this, by the way, because just the ramblings. Um, anyway, what, what, what was I? What was I trying to remember? So uh, anyway, he's not racist. Yeah. So when when Chuck came back from uh, when Chuck came back, I, I don't even know what his setup was. I don't know if he played on a, a friend's laptop or whatever. But when he came back, he was just toxic. But I don't know. I feel like. Chuck, because we were always friends, he's he had never been toxic to me up until that point. And you should keep in mind, Chuck and I like became friends right when I was like just learning PvP, and that was like when he was at on his prime. So he had like every right to trash talk me. You know, if a high tier three trash talked a low tier five, it's like okay. Kind of a bitch move, and I can lie. It, it is, but someone just starts the game. And like, You're horrible. I'm like okay, For like, real. whatever. Yeah, but anyway. Chuck, he was gone for, like, eight months at this point, right? And he still, yeah. like, I don't know. It was it just came across as a shock to me because he would never trash talk me. Even if he, like, would make it clear that he's better or that he doesn't think I could be a certain person. Like, he would be nice about it. And I, th the thing is, I can handle to uh, toxicity. I don't, I don't care. But uh, I, I just didn't see that from Chuck, I guess. I don't know why. I guess maybe it was because, like, I was close to him that i didn't see that he was oh he's just like every other minecraft pvp are out there you know like they're just he's like the other girl no reason yeah i just didn't see it i just didn't see it for some reason um because we were friends at the time so anyway uh i chuck just came back and he was like i feel like i could still beat ghost or not gonna lie and even if i was busy because keep in mind i have a life and this life yeah. is very stressful that sounds so bad, but I, okay, it's not like I struggle to put food on the table or have a, a roof above my head, but you know, I'm stressed. I'm a college student. It's things are different, yeah. you know. And he yeah. lived in Australia, which that must have sucked. For real, Australia is a trash country. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna cut this part out. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, what was I trying to remember? I keep dozing off. This is why you should never have me on podcasts. It's How are you quite... dozing off? Isn't it like 2 p.m. your time? It is 4.34 p.m. actually. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah, it's really late. It's almost closer to bedtime. Let's hurry this up. <laughs> yeah, it's almost 5 p.m. <laughs> so anyway, um, I ended up 1v1ing Chuck. Uh, and the thing is, he was only good at healing. All right? Like, it, I mean, what? Yeah. He was only good at healing. Like, he would last... Uh, the only reason he would last too, so long is because he was good at healing. But apart from that, he wasn't really good. So, that that made him, like, get a bunch of free wins. So, even this, even though the score was 4-3, to three, the skill gap was wide, and he knew that. Um, but he, even after that, I, I didn't want to be too toxic. Of course, I, I dissed him a couple times in chat or whatever, but I never went out of my way to, like, you know, you know make a video about it or whatever because I feel like I was going to do that, actually. I was going to, but I decided against it. Um, so, Trash yeah. Talker Down montage. Yeah, that's exactly the title. Trash Talker Down <laughs> and then, like, a, like a parenthesis that says Fake High Tier 3. Um, oh, yeah. So, anyways... uh. For some reason, it's not it's not just the Chuck cat was being toxic to his friends, okay? It's the, like, he would trash talk anyone because he could beat them last year. That's like that's like if I fought Clown Pierce, or not Clown Pierce, I guess. Um, that's like if I fought, hmm, who peaked it in 2021, uh, but then got really good in 20... Okay, okay, let, how about this? Um, who was bad in 2021, but got good this year? Uh, me. Wait, uh... All right, whatever. So basically, rural, um, who a year ago before Chuck Hat quit Minecraft, he could still like consistently beat rural, who's like a high tier three right now. He's yeah. self-proclaimed best Asia, which we don't know. He's why. tier two now. Oh, okay. Well, he, tier two? he calls himself best Asia. We don't know why he does that, but uh, whatever. I mean, that's good for him, I guess. Um, he's not the best at Asia, by the way. <laughs> but Chuck is like. Even though he last fought Rural a year ago, he's still confident in trash talking him. It's like, oh, you're yeah, bad. I, I, I could beat uh, you so consistently. It's like, what? In your old server, I actually brought that up one time. I was like, wow, who is this Rural guy saying he's best Asia? Because I, I assumed he was good because he was high tier three. Mm -hmm. But I was like, best Asia is kind of outrageous. And then Chuck Cat, he's just 
replies to that, and he's like, he's so bad, I could beat him easily. Yeah. And I was like, I didn't even know that bro had a laptop, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, I guess after that 1v1 where I 4-3'd him, I just didn't talk to him, you know? It's like, I don't hate him. He doesn't hate me. He knows I'm better. Uh, I know we don't play with each other anymore, but I, I just wasn't going to talk to him anymore. Uh, yeah. And then fast forward two or three months later, kind of a fallout happened with me and Varek. Uh, this is couples therapy now, by the way, and the viewers are the therapists. So uh, kind of a fallout happened with me and my boy Superfire here. Um, it, we It was so close to a divorce. I mean, <clears throat> sorry. Um... Yeah, I just had to take a little break. There. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> or even before that, uh, when you had quit for a while, then you came back and you trained for like a couple of days just to beat Chuck. Yeah, you know, like another four three, I think, or four two, was it? Or, uh, it's on my channel. I think. Yeah, unlisted. Yeah. And so anyway, I when sh when ver I kind of like cut ties with everyone in the friend group. So that's like you, Chuck Cat, Orc, Firebolt, Kerbo, or whatever. Like, I just didn't talk to them anymore after the, uh, the deletion of my Discord server. And I think that was, I don't know what ever happened in our private group chat or whatever. I didn't bother, like, searching through the back or whatever. I don't know what trash people talked about me, but... Honestly, not that much, surprisingly. Okay, that's good. Like, there was the one time when I brought up the, the infamous clip, and everyone laughed really? at it, and I think it was pinned. We don't have to talk about the clip for real. So anyways... Yeah. um. Like, when when we came back, like, Chuck was just, he wasn't, he, I didn't, f okay, this is going to sound really harsh. He didn't feel like a human being anymore. Like, yeah. the things he yeah. would send me were just meme memes or, like, gifs of, uh, okay, this is the weirdest part. He would send me videos of, like, naked people, and it's like, what is wrong with you? It's like, if I'm trying to have a normal conversation, like, leave me alone please it's like why do you even have me added still if you're just gonna do that oh. you know and so i decided to block chuck you know i just decided you know what i don't need him i don't need him if i in order to you know actually do stuff on here um because I, I don't even regularly talk to him like he's my friend anymore it's just it's just causing stress for me or well i act like it's a big deal but it really isn't it's just you know it's just my friend who is no longer a nice person that's all there was to it but I think it only ever really got worse because uh, his attacks or by attacks, I just mean like th just the inhuman stuff that he would send me. Like sometimes he'd send me gore. Oh, yeah. That's always um, fun. I've gotten yeah. quite a bit from him. It's like, you know, he didn't interact with me like a human being, you know, I, I, it's whatever. You know, I, I already blocked him at that point. But when I got added to the group chat, like his attacks became way more personal. Like, he would st say stuff about my school or whatever or my, you know, my relationships. And it's like, that's it's kind of messed up. I don't like you anymore. Um, and I think around that was the time when I realized, all right, I don't like Chuck Cat. I just, I don't like him. I don't want to have anything to do with him. And, yeah, it's like, he doesn't, I feel like there's people online that he cares about or by care about i mean there's people online that he likes talking to or playing games for yeah. yeah but i don't think he really i don't i think he often forgets to remember that the people he talks to are real people um uh, um so i think if you try to talk to him it's like i don't know he he, he kind of forgets that we're not just we're not npcs with an AI generated voice or an AI generated name, you know, um, like he just doesn't treat his friends like they're people. And I feel like, you know, Chuck's always had privacy issues. Like, uh, let's not, let's not, um, name drop here, but this one time when he was in a relationship with someone, whatever pictures, uh, they'd send him, he would like leak them and oh, yeah. any like private information that they would uh, tell him, he would leak them too. So it's like, that's already very crappy. Um, yeah, he he did that with me too. That's why I. Yeah. I wasn't dating him though. I was not in a relationship with that woman. Anyways, um, you may hear rumors saying otherwise. Those are uh, false, slander. 
disinformation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys. I definitely but... never called him cute. Don't look at those dudes. <laughs> it just makes me want to vomit. But, um, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there was, there's just these times, too, where Chuck Cat would, like, he would make jokes about terrorist attacks. Like, 9-11. Oh, yeah, like nine eleven. Okay. Or, um... To be fair, that's like funny sometimes, but like... <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're gonna cut this right out. So sometimes he makes jokes <laughs> about like nine eleven and like Nazism or whatever. Uh, oh yeah, that was not so funny. That that one's less funny. <laughs> um, he would also often talk about like uh, I forgot what it was called. I feel like a really bad person right now. What's that really bad thing? The like the oh, the Holocaust. Yep. Yeah, mm, I forgot what it was called. I'm sorry. I'm not a bad person. I swear. So anyway, yeah, he would make jokes about the Holocaust, nine eleven, kamikaze attacks, and whatever. Me personally, I'm not a fan of Holocaust jokes. Yeah. As an American, I get to laugh at nine eleven jokes. I think right. That's like okay. Okay. Stop. Stop. <laughs> so when I tell him like don't make don't make jokes about terrorists or, or don't make uh, jokes about terrorist attacks. Um, he would call me like a soy boy or whatever, like a like a fun killer. It's like what? Chuck Hat calling someone a soy boy. It's just like that's peak right there. Yeah, and yeah, I I just decided I don't like this guy. Why why should I bother like keeping him at it or whatever? And then up until fairly recently, it was like two weeks ago. Uh, I was playing Nethpot with Superfire, Chuck Hat. And For real. another friend we have named Beats, right? And so, <laughs> don't send him. Yeah, so. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. Chuck was being less toxic. That's for sure. I saw improvement in him, you know? Uh, yeah. But, so, so I just thought, okay, I guess, I guess I don't hate him anymore. Or, well, it's not, I, I don't hate him anymore, but that doesn't mean I like him, you know? Because I know, I know, at this point, I had already gotten a grasp of how Chuck Hat sees people online, you know? the thing, Because the real reality is, uh, Superfire, even though, even no matter what he does to us, we can't do anything about it. At the end of the day, we're all just people behind a screen, okay? Like, that, yeah. at the end, that is the sad truth. I don't think squatting is the thing in the Philippines either, so... I don't, I don't know either. But even if it was, it's like, I wouldn't go that far. Oh, obviously, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. Actually, I would, but, you know, I did, I'm too lazy, I'm too lazy. I'm just kidding. Yeah, um, you have to do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Here's his address if you want to do it sometime. But anyways, uh, seriously, though, that's the sad truth. It's Chuck, he can do he can do whatever he wants to us, he can say whatever he wants to us, he can treat us however he wants, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. I can't do anything about it. To be fair, I have his full name, I have his address, Oh but I'm not gonna. Do, I have his IP as well, but I'm not gonna do anything with it. Obviously. Oh, boy. How do you even get his IP? Like, uh, he sent it to me. It? He sent it. To Why? Me. <laughs> we whatever. Yeah. The point is, um, yeah. I don't know. Like, it doesn't really matter to me. And I guess recently, uh, yesterday actually, I was having a bad day. Okay, I recorded a video and it flopped miserably because of this one person who just genuinely made me mad um so yeah you know guys it's it's real go through rage quits no way so i just got really mad and chuck asks me do you want to do you want to play minecraft and I, I just tell him go away you know like of course i use some swears but like you know i i made it clear i'm mad i don't want to talk and because yeah, chuck, I had, chuck had he's He's a very, he's a very cool person. He's very funny, you know. He has to make a joke out of everything. He has to mock you every way, everywhere he can. His exact words were, "I cut damn skull emoji." <laughs> what? And at this point, I tell him, "Dude, go away. I don't want to talk to you. I'm clearly angry right now." I I tell him like, "You should not be on Discord. You are a sociopath. Go to a me go seek help." Okay, that's what I. That's basically what I said, and I know it's harsh, and I know technically he didn't do anything wrong here yet, um, but after I sent that, he proceeds to tell me, 
uh, he's, he proceeds to mock my status, which was essentially Liv, Laugh, and Alex Shane Benjamin, because that was on Alec Benjamin's birthday. He's my favorite artist, by the way. Uh, subscribe to Alec Benjamin, stream his music, stream his new single, Devil. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, and watch Ghost for his cover on my channel. <laughs> for real. Water Fountain. Um, yeah. So, he decides to mock me, and it's like, the first response was already inhuman enough, alright? So, like, just to just joke around about something when they clearly don't want to be bothered and then you you have the audacity to mock them again after like that is what made me angry so the thing is i was already mad before this like i was already mad at like the guy who would ruin my video or whatever but i forgot all of that just because of chuck cat and that is that is the exact moment when i realized my hate for chuck cat is not a feeling it's not resentment it's not like it's not like he just did something and i don't like him for it it is a burning passion and it is one that needs to be fueled okay that is the exact minute that i realized i hate the guy okay because if you really think about it in the grand scheme of things he didn't really do anything all he did was just be insensitive which is like that's bad already, but you know. Yeah, but that alone shouldn't have been enough. That shouldn't clearly have been some underlying yeah. things. Yeah. Of course, um, yeah, he was just being insensitive, but that was the minute I realized I hate this guy. So any any of my past anger just went away, and it all just shifted to Chuck Yet. and so I'm sure he thinks he didn't do anything wrong. I'm sure he thinks that. Okay, but here's the thing: I don't really care. Because at the end of the day, if I know that he's the main cause of my anger, then I will get rid of it, you know? But, yeah, it doesn't matter what Chuck Hat does at this point, because I can't hate him any more than I already do. And the thing is, even if he tries to delete our DMs of uh, when he sent me his ad address, I'm not going to do anything with his address, but I will say I have it, like, engraved <laughs> into my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I have it engraved into my mind. Like I can't get, I can say it three times in my head right now. Do it. I just did it right now in my head. Oh. Okay. Like I will not forget it. I will not forget it. So yeah. That's just, in the grand scheme of things, it might not seem like Chuck is so horrible, but. I'm surprised know, just, my greatest enemy was people. If you just if you just see someone as like your closest friend or whatever, because that's who Chuck Cat was to me, to like them like failing to even give you basic human understanding, like that that just makes me mad. Like even if I try to have a genuine conversation with him, it's either he would dodge or just say or just like uh respond with a gif. And that just makes me annoyed. Yeah. So, yeah. Again, it hurts more because you know what you've lost. Mm. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for checking out my podcast. Be sure to check out my new album. Uh, you want me to rant about him too, or is that... sure, go for it. Why this is the second part of the video? Why he doesn't like Chuck Cat? Okay, yeah. Let me. Uh, so it started off. I met Chuck Cat in Ghost Rose's old server, and I didn't really talk to him that much. Till one time where I was like, okay, I'm trying to get better, better at Asian Netbot, which is essentially around 200 mess for me it's very very fun i would Perfect. not recommend it unless you actually have a therapist <laughs> and i was like okay this guy he's high tier three right or like mid tier three at the time i was like, well that's, he was that's kind what of he bad himself as he, he was bad at the moment like yeah. i was pretty i was low tier four and i'd usually be winning and then the actual scores would come down to be like equal which is not a great look for tier three yeah I mean, like, and, if a low tier four can go even with a mid tier three, I think something's up. But I, I sort of enjoyed talking to him. You know, yeah. Like while playing Minecraft. Thing is, it was when I was watching Rango with him in VC. I think I was pirating it. Mm -hmm. I realized that I wasn't actually like friends with this guy. I just played Minecraft with him sometimes. And after that, like, I talked to him a couple times. Uh, lost my train of thought, but. I was I wasn't against him. Yeah, yeah, I had nothing against him. Uh, just never really like I barely ever talked to him, and didn't really miss not talking to him ever. But then I was in this one VC with him and this guy called Kervon, 
I sent him a picture. It wasn't like a private picture at all. I, I didn't mean it like that, but like, okay, but... it wasn't a picture that I necessarily didn't want to share. But the fact that he just decided to send it to Kurban because he thought it was funny, I was like, oh, okay, that's a little bit weird that he would just do that. And he does it again later. What was the photo? And I was like, hold on, what was the photo? Uh, he was mentioning something about like, I don't know, but it's a picture of my right arm. Okay. He just. <laughs> he just. Okay, to be fair, yeah, he sent that to. I, I was talking to him like about that, right? And then he just sends it to Kurban. I was like, okay, that's weird. And then later, uh, he wanted me to like get on Minecraft or something, but I was, I think I was laying in bed resting. I said, I'm in bed, and I jokingly uh, sent a picture of like me covering my face with a little fanboy hand thing, like. Oh, Laying in bed, right? Uh, and then he just sends it in the group chat, and I'm like, okay, what the hell is wrong with this guy? Like, I don't know, he's just weird stuff. <laughs> I just blocked him. I don't hate him. I just don't like him. So, yeah, there's Jack nothing has, I missed Jack about has playing so with him. Much privacy issues. Uh, yep. Mm. But yeah. Uh oh, Vraki has to go. I think, or maybe his parents woke up. And they're like, go back to bed, sweetheart, or whatever. It's um, our podcast oh, now. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, wait. Let's see how long this video is. This is uh, 26 minutes. All right. So just to be clear, I was not dating him. <laughs> That's actually weird, guys. All right, subscribe. Bye. <laughs>